Hello everyone. In this video, I will describe the functionalities of the toolbar, which is this ruler of buttons on the top. The first three items are shortcuts for basic file operations, new model opening and saving. Then you have camera control options, uh, panning, zooming in, zooming out, and the rotation, which is only available for 3D. Then, if you come back to the cursor mode, you have some shortcuts to do these camera manipulations with the mouse. For panning, you must hold the scroll button and drag. For zooming, it is just by scrolling up and down. And the rotation is done by holding the right button and dragging. Then the next option is the fit to view to adjust the visualization to fit the model and the redraw which refreshes the drawing of the model and this is useful if you find a, a strange behavior in the drawing so it will erase everything and draw again. Next you have the modeling options. The first is the creation of nodes. It doesn't work on 3D models, so in these types of models, the only way to insert nodes is by providing the coordinates in the auxiliary window. On 2D models, you can simply click on the canvas to create nodes. And for grillage models, you can also click on the plane of the model to insert nodes in perspective view. The next option is the creation of elements. Again, it is straightforward just by clicking on the canvas when the model is uh, grillage or 2D. And for 3D, you need to have nodes created to connect them with elements. Back to 2D. The next option is to solve intersections. When you create elements that intersect each other, by default, a node is not created at the point of intersection. So it means that these three elements here, they don't interact uh, like if they were on different planes. But when you click this button, a node is created at all intersections and now you have seven elements. Uh, it works for all types of models, 2D, 3D, and grillage. And then you have the delete button. It is activated when you select a node or an element, and it simply removes the object. If you delete uh, a node that has an element connected, it will also delete the element with a warning message. And the next option is the snap to grid. It will ask you for the grid spacing in both X and Y direction. And this is used to insert nodes at precise coordinates. It can also be used for the end nodes of elements.
this feature doesn't work on 3D models. The next three options are related to insertion of elements and they can be turned on or off. The first is to create nodes at the intersection points. So if this is on, nodes will be automatically created at the intersections. Then you have the polyline mode to create a chain of elements until the ask key is pressed to come back to the cursor mode. The third option is to create orthogonal lines. These three modes of element insertion also work for grilled models but not for 3D models. Finally, the last two options are exclusive for Grillages. One is to enter our 2D modeling mode where you can create the Grillage model in a 2D canvas, which is a bit easier than doing this in a perspective view. And the last option is to set the limits of the visualization axis. That's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.